Hi folks, and welcome back to Conan Exiles. This is episode 5 of the Let's Play 3.0 series, and in this episode we're going to continue from where we left off in the last episode, where we learned the very basics of sorcery, and we, we got our arcane staff, our spell book, which contains two spells. But in order to advance the spell book and learn more spells, we need to do that in our thermat Thermaturgy, thermaturgy bench or something along that lines and in order to build that bench we need crystal which we currently don't have enough of so the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to head along to a cave along the river and get ourselves some crystal there are two caves on new river that i know do have crystal one is the cavern of fiends or something like that which is around about this area somewhere about here if you go up that slope there and I'm gonna zoom in if you go up that slope there Nunu the cannibal that teaches you the yog religion is round about here and the cavern is along about here it's it's a imp cave that's full of that red crystal um, so there's plenty there which is actually the closest one however we're going to go to Hanuman's grotto which is oh let me see it must be uh, it's, it's around this area, somewhere around here. Uh, I th may I probably get an entrance in there. Might, that might be it there. Uh, that's also an imp cave um, with the same red crystal in it. It's a little bit further away, but the advantage of this one is in the back area. We were in there in the last series for, for another reason, right at the back of the cave. Uh, but in the front part of the cave, you get through the cave, and then there's water, and in the water is glowing goop. And I happen to know from my testing on the test live server that one of the pages that we're going to need very soon to advance our spell book requires glowing goop. And that's an easy place to get it. I should possibly also mention that I've got some new armor on. This is the royal armor set. Um, it's not actually a DLC set. This is the set that you got if you, I think, if you pre-ordered the game back when it was in early access. As the clouds are coming over the top, is that because it's getting night time, or is there a sandstorm coming? Looks like it's looks like the sun's disappearing, so it's a way to get night time. But yeah, so I, I just it's a set of medium armor. It's got a little bit more uh, armor than what the standard medium armor has. It looks nicer, and it has a circlet instead of a. A helmet so we can we can see our character's face a bit better uh, it still has the same plus 15 carry weight on each piece so it's, it's still the same as the the medium but yeah just a little bit fancier okay so we're gonna head along the cave uh, let me see I've got food we're all got food we've got all the stuff we need we're gonna take Tessa with us and she got food she does yep Okay, so I'm going to start heading along and I will bring you back when I get to the cave. See you in a bit. Okay, we are here. I'm going to show you on the map. So this is exactly where it is. So this lump here is the where we're looking to go. or th This is the area in front of us and then I guess that is the entrance there. Going in that way. Uh, so there's shalebacks out here that have all just been fighting the imps and a bunch of imps going about. So we'll, these are really easy to defeat because they've got 65 health each. Take the shield out anyway though, because there is a lot of them. And you've got to watch for the ones that are like a dark red colour because they all run up to you and they like clench themselves and explode so they can do some nasty damage but the normal and we've got Hanuman's Grotto these normal brown ones are just no problem at all and when we go into the next bit we should start seeing the red crystal there it is look so let's kill these guys So all this, all this is mineable crystal. You can you can pick it by hand, but you'll only get like two pure pieces. Oh look at that! We did a challenge to harvest crystal. The, a pickaxe on it, you're getting 22 per piece. So 
hundreds of it. As well as these bigger ones here. Not collecting them. Five hundred and odd. Where are you? Where did Tessa go? She's pinged upstairs or something, is she? Where did she go? Right, and then we we'll just if we go down in a bit further. So one of the challenges sometimes is to kill an imp king, and that guy there with a pot and pan on his head is the Imp King. I think both both those um, uh, these Imp Caves both have an Imp King in them. There's also another one in the jungle. It'd be easier if we could get in there. Can get Tessa to ping in. Where is she? There's up. Ah, oh, here she is. Bit of fighting. He's just a little mini boss. Don't really get anything off of him, I don't think. His iron pot off his head. Feral flesh bones. Yeah, nothing exciting. But in this water here, if we put our iron sickle down and dive down. We should see. Here it is. It's a glowing goop. Oh, that's the wrong. That one. Come on. Let's get some breath. There's the big boss guy that we'll come back for at a later occasion. Is that all we're getting? Okay, it'll be enough anyway. What did we end up getting? 34. That'll do. And a bunch more crystal. Just kind of in the rock a bit. That'll do. Give that to her. Take that. And let's go. Right. So we've got our crystal. We'll be able to make our bench now. The next problem is to learn each new spell you need a spell page, a sorcerer spell page. And you get them off of the sorcerers. Uh, so we're going to need a few of those. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to visit a few locations that I happen to know as sorcerers in them. Just like we went to Skulker's End in the last episode. And we're going to go and see if we can get anything off of them this time. So the first one we're going to go to is right here on that peak there. So we'll have to go across the river. Then you kind of come up here and along here. And there's a guy right on the end. And I will see you when I'm closer to the camp. Okay, see you in a bit. Welcome back. Okay, so we were over there. We've come across the river and come up up here onto this bit there. And you can see the camp banners just ahead of us. We were pointing towards this little pinnacle here. So we're going to head in and work our way through because the sorcerer is right at the very back. So what have we got? We've got an archer up first. Get 
Alter, sein. Not a next spawn, it's called. Varying luck getting stuff off of this guy when I came here on test live, so we'll see what it's like. You can just see him at the back there on his altar. Temple thing. Right, there he is. Medicine Man 2. Type Sorcerer. Okay, so he's got a backpack. Uh, is there any scrolls or anything lying about? There doesn't look like there is. Nope. Just a particularly gruesome. Oh, hello. Where are you? Uh, you're another dancer. Alright, let's open the backpack. And we got the map, which we already have, and a spell page. So that's one. Right, let's go to the next camp now and we'll try and get another one. I'll see you when I get there. Okay, we're back. So that entrance right in front of us there is uh, Death Whisperer's camp. So you see where we are on the map at the moment. We've we've come across the river and heading up here, and that's where the executioner stays in there. But what we're interested in is that camp there. Uh, so I think we'll we'll just go round the corner. Be some spiders here fighting some of the guys from the camp. Well, the spiders have fought the guys from the camp and lost. But this guy's obviously got this blacksmith. Go and in this camp, the guy sees over there. He's got a teleport stone thing, and he's over that way. So let's get this archer out. that fighter as well. Archer's not down yet. He's now. Okay. There's another guy around this corner. Let's take some healing. Oh, we're almost out of healing pots. We're going to have to top up when we get back to base. Right. Get him. Oh, and we've pulled Sorcerer as well. He's a Sorcerer 3. Don't want him to fall off the edge though. That's fine. Alright, what have you got on yet? You've got... Ah, oh, we never... I'll have to go over that. We got that last time, but I never talked about it. Another pack back, which has got the map again. Uh, and a leather pouch. Okay, so no scroll. So let's check over. Oh, take him out. Any scrolls around here? Watcher's yeah, Way Station is the name of this camp. No scrolls there. No scrolls on the table. Oh, journey step for a black hand camp. Cool. That book looks like it should be something, but it's just a bit of decoration. Well, that's disappointed. No, no scrolls at all. Okay, on to the next one, which is over in that direction. And I will see you when I get over there. Okay, we're at the next one now, which should be Tarman's Berth, which is just over. That's where we was. We've just come across here, and we're looking at here. And the sorcerer is over in that far right corner. We'll have to just work our way in first. Can we get him? 
sneak attack. I believe that is Tarman sitting down over there, who's a named fighter. Tarman's birth. There we go. Now we just head round this side. Have we pulled something? There we go. Is that cook? Down. Right, this guy here, sorcerer one. Oh, there's a. No scrolls on these benches either. Been particularly unlucky today. Right, what have you got? Absolutely nothing. Okay. Alright, I've got one more to go to in my easy sorcerer locations that I'm going to head to now, and I'll see you when I get there. Okay, we're at the next one. So you can see here, there's the sentinels in the distance there, and if we came along there, that's where we came our iron run, and then up this hill is up where we were up to the spiders a couple of episodes ago but up here on the right hand side there is a camp just up here Carver's Crest or something along that lines ooh ooh right oh. we're not going to worry about him at the moment even though he is a named <laughs> a beast Get a few named in an episode very soon, but just up there on that slope up there is the next sorcerer. So we'll work away, we'll probably pull that archer away. Carver's Crest. Not well, maybe we want. Whoa, but we are going to just walk off the edge of the cliff. So grab on and climb back up again. Oh, we have pulled them. Go get Tessar. I'll go up here and get the sorcerer. A feast. Go. Oh. And again, there are no items. Oh, he doesn't have on anything on him either. Well, this is super lucky. Right, so what we need to do now is we just basically need to rotate around those same same camps again. And, uh, go down my computer the next one so it's over that direction. And just keep going until I get a bunch of pages. So I'll, I'll just go and do that off camera. And uh, I will meet you back at the base once we've got a, a couple of pages. We don't need that many, but we'll get, at least get a three or four, and that'll be perfect. Okay, see you next time. Okay, we made it back to base, and just want to point out that during that lapse that we were doing there, Tessa leveled up and got her first perk. She's now level 11, and luckily she got Perseverance, which gives her plus three in vitality. Which is good, because she's now got 2,055 vitality. Very, very spectacular. Uh, so what I did was I went round the the camps. So I went back to Narrow Neck Span, up to a uh, Watcher's Way Station, over to Tarman's Berth, over to Carver's Crest, and I, I think I did a lap of them twice. Uh, and I managed to get four spell pages. I've got some pouches. A... Uh, and five failed sorcerer spell pages. Got quite a few more Skelos recipes and um, what was the other thing? You get maps, but I've just, just thrown them away. But we're back now, and then on my way back, on the last thing I did was I went to a, um, what's it called? Narrow Neck Span, and I got a Defari Medicine Man 2. So, it's a sorcerer that we'll use on our bench once he's tamed up. But first thing we need to do is get... So let's take all that crystal, but put most of it in here. 
Uh, I don't need that either. Uh, yeah, I made a bigger chest because I was running out of storage space. Oh, I've got more stuff in here. Okay, I've got the map and the cultist master stuff in there. Uh, we'll come back to that. Where that pouch is, let's... Leather pouch, cloth pouch. Let's put them in there as well for the moment. Okay, so we need to craft the bench. So let's see what that requires. Wrong button, that button, crafting stations, sorcery, bench, and we'll space to hold on to it. And it needs 300 stone, 50 crystal, and 50 iron bars. I bet you the stone. Yeah, we don't have any stone. Okay, that'll be. I might need you to follow us around. Perhaps a couple of st 300 stone. Go 100, 150, 200, 279, 300. Okay. Alright. And uh, I think it was 50 iron bars. Still seem to have an awful lot of crystal. There we go. One bench. So we'll place that next to the sorcery table. No, the alchemist table, even. And here we have our thermatory bench. So, we also need these items. So we'll take that, we'll take that. We don't need them, and we need them. Okay. So, what we do is we put our tomb, our spell book, in the bench. And now you've got a book on top of the bench. And you can craft two things. You can craft a new arcane staff if you lose your original one. It just needs five crystal and 20 iron bars. And you can craft something that I think it, it's not very well described, but it basically seems you can craft a tomb of Kurak and you need a tomb of Kurak to craft that. So what you're actually doing is crafting a new page to increase the level of your tomb of Kurak. So it would be better if it actually had some identifier to show that it's like level 2 or level 3. Right, but the first spell we're going to learn requires the tomb. We've got a sorcerer spell page. All, they all need that. There you go. Some putrid meat and some stone. One of each. So we've got the putrid meat and a stone. Okay. So now we've got all the items we need, we can hit craft and she'll perform a little ritual. We've got a little bit more corruption and we now learned a couple of new spells. Blood Rite, Drain Soul, Imbue Wisp and Embed Wisp. So if we look at our knowledge sorcery, we've now got some new stuff. So, Embed Wisp, the sorcerer imbues a soul into a fixed point illuminating the area. Which is essentially like putting down a torch. And we've got Imbue Wisp, the sorcerer imbues a soul onto their own flesh, illuminating their path. Which is the equivalent of bringing a torch out yourself. Except, the, that means that... Uh, need a reagent to do this but we'll be able to basically have a, a torch on us but then use our own future nope because that's the that's the ice bridge one let's check that again yeah we'll be able to keep a light running around us uh, and then we'll be able to use our off hands so we'll be able to keep the so she imbues a soul onto their own flesh. So we need a burlap pouch beyond a fixed point. So let's cancel that. Let's get a burlap pouch. Let's try that again. Unfortunately, it's going to be daylight, so it's not going to be brilliant, but... Cast a spell. So, middle one. And then let's do it on 
our self. No, 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 no. Get a little bit more corruption, and then you've got that little green wisp that goes around us. But like you can see, it'll illuminate the area, just like holding a torch would. Except we're not holding it in our off hand. It'll follow us about, and we can we can use our shield and our weapon, or a two-handed weapon. So that'll be particularly handy for some of the darker caves, where normally you'd have to have a torch up. You've just got this little wisp that'll fly around. I think I think it's two minutes it lasts. So it's not forever, but then you could always cast another one. Okay, uh, the next thing that we learned there as well was these two. Blood Rite, which is, allows you to sacrifice a thrall to get some blood, and then you can put the blood in a flask to, to store it. We also learned the sacrificial stone that we need to do that. And the same with Soul Drain, which allows you to pull the soul out of a thrall on the sacrificial stone. So both of the, these two both need to be formed at the sacrificial stone. So I guess we need to make one of them next. We probably need to make a bit more space as well. Okay, I'm just going to cut. I'm going to put some more foundations down so we can put these new items down. And I'll, I'll bring you back when uh, when it's... Oh, is that the wisp gone? Yep, it's gone now. So yeah, it's, it's, you don't get it for long. But it looks like it'll be quite handy because we can essentially have a torch without holding a torch. Right, let me go and put some more foundations down and then I'll come back and we can make the sacrificial stone. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, welcome back. So I've put down some more foundations and I've gathered together the items we need uh, so if we now go into sorcery we've got sacrificial stone which needs 600 stone 100 iron bars and one torch so we select that and we stick it there there we have it now there we go so you can create a blood, the blood rite ritual to create your your blood, which you can then use that blood with a glass flask. Ooh, that's a point. Do we have glass flasks? That's something we've been able to find. We haven't. Okay. Can we learn that? So I believe that's under here. Die maker. Do you learn the casting stuff in there? You've got the Dyer's Bench. No, you don't. Where do you learn... Hmm. Ah, that's... Okay, if that's made in... So that's learned with furnaces right at the start. So that's made with a construction hammer. So, six. And then... Oh, I keep pushing the wrong buttons. F. Uh, smithing? Mm, nope. Where would that be? Alchemist, religion, sorcery. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Casting. Casting table. 100 wood, 25 iron bars. So, 25 of that. However, we're going to need glass. So what did I do with all that crystal? There it is. Oh. Let's get that cooking into glass. So take the crystal, it goes into glass. Uh, we're going to need a hundred wood as well. Not from there, but from here. Okay. All right. Casting table. Where we're going to stick that? It's quite big. It is huge. Uh, okay. I was keeping this space for 
I will put it here. There we go. Alright, and then to make, we need a mold, so we need 25 iron bars to make the mold. We're starting to burn through our iron. I'm going to have to go out on another run. Make the glass mold. And then once you've got the glass mold, a mold and three sheets of glass will make you a glass flask. So we'll need a few of them. Put them in there with the mold. Oh, was that only? That was only 15, not 10. Not 25. Okay, put that in there. Make glass. Boom. Make four, four of them. Let's stick this back in here. Okay. So, but first of all, we need to get some blood. And to get some blood, we're going to need some thralls. So, well, I'm going to equip you with that. And we'll head along to our local entertainment spot just along here. And we'll go and find a willing volunteer. Hello, are you a vil willing volunteer? XL1. Of course, they're all going to come. We're just going to get the two. That would work out well. Right, take him. Knock him out. Right, and then knock him out. need our bindings. Come on. Right, we'll take the first one back. There he goes. Right. This is where it starts getting rather gruesome. Conan Exiles isn't exactly a PG-13 game as it is, with the way that they, they do some of the death animations. And chopping people into bits and stuff, but this is particularly bad. So we'll click on there and he'll go on to the stone. So he's chained up on that stone. Uh, just take that off and give you your sword back. Because if we now go on to here and then say perform the blood rite, hit craft. It performs this rather gruesome ritual. slowly fills with blood. Pretty gruesome, even for Conan XL standards. Right, and we've got a bit more corruption of course. Right, if we take our flasks and then put them in there, we can then take the blood that we've just got and put it in a flask because you can't, you, that blood won't come out of there and you can't do another ritual if there's blood in it, but now it's in a flask you can, oh you can't put it back in, oh great you can, and you use that for, for other things the, the next one is soul drain so we'll go and get the other one that we knocked out still there, yep, yeah, still lying sleeping on the beach Grab you. And take you back. Put them on the bench as well. Five, that's the button I want. Press the button. And this time we'll do soul drain. All you need for that is the, the flask in the inventory. And she performs another ritual again. If you keep an eye on the guy, he just starts to slowly wither away. Got 
want some more corruption. Well, this is a problem, we're now like 50% corrupted. Look at the mess of us. There he goes. Whether you can see the green soul coming out of him. Gross. But, because we've got 50% corruption now, we've got... We don't look very well. But if we look in there, we get five souls for that. Oh, can't be moved, okay. And that is used for corrupting your attributes. You can use those souls to corrupt these and give you different perks if you've used corrupted attributes. But we're not going to play with that at the moment. Okay, uh, I think, is that all those spells? Uh, Blood Rite, Soul Drain, Imbued. So we've done the two Wisps. Uh, we've done the Blood Rite and done that Soul Drain. So yeah, so let's learn the next spell. So back to our bench. The next spell requires another spell page. I've got spell pages in there. I need some Feral Flesh. I have some of that. Uh, is it just one? Okay, put three in, and it needed some five feathers. Well, we got feathers before when we were doing the... Uh, I put them in the carpentry bench. Yep. When we did the challenges with the vulture nests. Okay, so five of them. Stick them in here. And craft. And we learned Word of Power, Slow Fall. So, if we again look at the Knowledge Sorcery, and it's this one. No, let's reveal Corruption. Do we learn more than one? Ah, there we go. When did we learn that one? I'm sure it only... Oh, no, Reveal Corruption, that was one of the first ones we learned, wasn't it? Yeah, sorry, getting confused. So slow fall, conjure gusts of air to slowly slow descent and make it safe to fall from any height. Casted with an arcane staff. So anyone who's played a mage, is it a mage or was it a priest in in WoW? It's a pretty typical spell. Uh, so we'll have, oh, I don't know if we've got have enough stamina to get up here with all this corruption. It's going to be close. Oh, that was very close. There we go. Way up the top. Let's grab some more feathers while we're up here. Right, where is our staff? Right, so obviously if we was to jump off the top of here, we would hurt ourselves pretty bad. But if we hit four and go cast, what's that going to be under? Forces of nature, surely. So as well as Ice Bridge, we've now got Slowfall here as well. Cast that. And you see the Slowfall buff on our top left hand side and you see the air so we can just step off of here and we'll slowly fall and land without any damage whatsoever same again it's on a little bit of a timer it's not it doesn't last that long but it's enough to get you off the top of something very high or even jumping <laughs> Gives you a bit of an extra jump boost. Yep, can be quite handy, I guess. Okay, what's next? Next, we need some savory flesh and some glowing goop. So this is the one we need the glowing goop for. So we need ten glowing goop and savory flesh, which we probably don't have any of. Nope. So we're going to need to take you across the river 
can go and chop up some shale backs to get some savoury flesh. Let's put our shield back on because we've got very little health at the moment. Right, send you in to take care of these guys. There we go. Alright, Cleaver. There we go, a bunch of Sabre Flash. Right. Just one. Just one. And craft that spell page. And that is Abyssal Mount Horse and Abyssal Mount Rhino. So again, knowledge, sorcery, we've got the Mount Horse, crafted in the Circle of Power, and we've now learned how to make the Circle of Power. And the same with the Rhino, also crafted in there. So we need our hammer to see what we need to make this Circle of Power. Sorcery. Okay, 100 brick, 200 bone meal, and 50 steel bars. Right, that's going to be a bit of a problem. So, how much brick do we have? We've got enough brick. We've got enough steel bars. Yep. But bone meal is made with crafting up, grinding up bone in a grinder. So we'll need to learn the grinder first. Where is it? There it is. So that is also done with a construction hammer. So F, what's that going to be under? General. So that's 50 brick and 10 branches. So we'll need 150 of that. Got any branches in there? Yes we do. We'll put the feathers back in there. And we'll need a grinder, we'll stick the grinder down there. So, a little grinder. And then we need the bones. We're probably going to need more bones. We'll stick them in there. How many do you get per... You only get one. Oh no, four. Oh, it's going up at four at a time, okay. Okay, that's fine. Right. While that's grinding away, the sorcerer has now finished. So I can take him out and I can put him on the bench. And you can see that opened up these two recipes. So the first one is called Research and that is allows you to craft a sorceress spell page. And it needs papyrus, some sacrificial blood and an inking brush. So they're all craftable items. Obviously we've got the blood in our sacrificial stone. The other one is a recipe to take 10 failed pages, of which we've got eight at the moment, and turn them into a page. So if you've gathered a bunch of these failed pages, you can put them together as long as you have a sorcerer of any level, level one. I'm not, not sure if you get anything extra yet, if you've got a named guy in here. We can find that out sometime later. Uh, but papyrus stole an inking brush, is that available to us at the moment? Uh, where would that be under decoration? Papyrus scroll requires a furniture maker and then it's crafted in the artisan's work table. Is there a brush in there as well? Brushes maybe. Part of the dies. 
one up. There it is, decorative war paints, level 22. We're just missing die maker for that. The die maker unlock. And then. Where was it? There it is. Uh, ah, yeah, inking brush. Crafted the dyer's bench, so a lot of stuff to craft before you get that, so I'm, I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, how many have we got now? 212, so getting there. So, what else did we need? A uh, 100 brick, which we've got, 25 steel bar. And then I think it was. Oh, it's 50 steel bar and 200. So another 25 of that. And 200 of that. Here we go. Alright. Sorcery, circle of power. Oh, it's. It's huge! Uh, There. Pretty close. Uh, can, can you get down off of there, please? Let's just get you out of the way altogether. Let's see if we can move this. There we go, that's a bit better. Right, so at the moment we can craft this horse and the rhino. So we need demon blood, more bone, and a flask. Right, I think I've got demon blood because I've been collecting that. Yep. Uh, let's put some of this stuff away. That way, that way, that way, that way. The food will get cooking. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Too much junk in here, it's full up. Let's grab some of that. And put that in there and get that cooking. Throw that way. Uh, I don't think we'll need any more spoilt meat for the moment. But we can easily get some more. Uh, so we need one of them, ten of that, and ten bones. We ground up all our bones, we did. Damn. Okay, well. Have these guys respawned yet? Let's see if we can get some bones from them. Get bones from the creatures as well. She's she's still alive because we never killed her before. Right. Here we go. Blacksmith two and a fighter one. Right, come on, come on. Uh, what's the best to get bones with? Who knows? Human flesh bone. Six at a time. Let's try that as well. Ten at a time there. Should be enough anyway. Yep. Run back. Stick it on here, stick the bones in, and go, what's that? We need horns for that, for the rhino. Craft. There we go. One abyssal horse. 
Bissell or Bismol? Ride it. Is the nameplate not showing up? It's just flashing up. Uh, mount. Oh, there's. There's no inventory stats. Abyssal Steed. So, 389 HP, 0 strength, 0 agility, 0 vitality, and 0 grit. With 0% growth chance. So that is the same as the test live that I thought was a bug. So there we go. Straight away said it fault it leveled up. But when we check the stats, because everything's at zero, it's leveling up, but it's not gaining in anything. So it doesn't get any more HP. It's a limited time mount. Doesn't need a no, this might actually be a little bit handy because we're going to have to go and get ourselves a a horse at some point. So this means we can use this guy to ride all the way down to go and get a horse. And I guess if we had the materials we could... Because um, if it expires while we're down there we'd have to run all the way back. But if we took the circle of power stuff with us and the materials to craft them, we could craft another one to ride back again. So it's maybe, it's maybe not that bad as a temporary thing. Look at it smoking. <laughs> awesome sauce. Cool. Alright, let's put you on stand guard over beside these guys. Uh, right. I think we've got one more spell page left. We do. So the next thing, oh, okay, right. The next thing needs volatile glands and human flesh. Well, we've just got human flesh, so that's okay. But volatile glands are a bit more complex to get. A, like I said, those imps that were down at Hanuman Grotto, that every now and again you get one that, that's a red one and it'll explode. There, there's a few of those all, all along. I think mainly the south bank of the river uh, and then in that cave there as well but there are very few and far between and you'll get very few volatile glands off of them so the best place i found to get volatile glands is off the the salamander creatures that look like look like giant iguanas to me but uh, i think they're called salamanders in here and they can be found in the jungle area but we're not going there and also around this location here, and I think maybe here, somewhere around, somewhere around there and there, and like you get 15 per per creature, kind of kind of numbers off of them. So we'll easily be able to get a bunch of volatile glands quickly off of there, but we'll have to get up there and go through all that. And with this level of corruption, with only 150 HP and 67 stamina, uh, I'm not going to do that today. So what I will do is I will go up into, I know there's in Sinner's Refuge that we went for our brimstone. I know there is guaranteed dancer spawns in there. So I'm going to go and get myself a dancer just to clear some of this corruption and uh, get my health and stamina back and then perhaps in the next episode we'll we'll head up there and we'll we'll get some salamanders and get some of that uh, volatile glands to start progressing our spell spellbook to the next level but i think that'll do for today we've we've done quite a few progressions and uh, we've learned the imbue wisp and embed wisp stuff the blood right and the soul drain rituals that take place rather gruesomely on the sacrificial stone uh, we learn slow fall for jumping off the top of mountains and we've just learned the abyssal mount and the horse and the rhinos so decent decent progression we're we're moving on there's still quite a few spells to go but we're going to be struggling to do it with this level of corruption at the moment so we need to get that a way of clearing that so i'll do that off camera and uh, when we come back we'll be we'll be ready to 
push on in our adventures. But that'll do for today. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, please hit that like button. Hit subscribe. They both help me out massively. Come and join us on Discord. We can chat away about all things Conan. And uh, also ARC. Remember, remember we'll play ARC as well. We'll need to get back to an ARC video. Um, and until then, I will see you in the next video. Bye now.